Hello, my fitness friends. My name is Natasha. Thank you for joining me today. I have a mini primal animal flow inspired sequence. We're going to take it part by part. There are five pieces of the flow. We'll repeat each sequence, maybe a handful or less, maybe three times each, and then we'll put the whole sequence together. It shouldn't be too long of a class and you can always repeat it if you want a little bit more. All right, let's come on down to a kneeling position. We're going to come onto our knees, tuck your toes under so we can get a nice stretch in the arches of the feet. Maybe even pull out your pinky toe and ground in. It might feel like a lot, so see if you can relax here. Let's take a deep breath in, fill up the ribs, the back side of the body, expand and sigh out. <sighs> Imagine letting go of stale air, negative energy, just bringing yourself into this moment. When it starts to get too much on the top, uh, on the bottom of the feet, go ahead and just sit on the top of the feet, relaxing into your heels. Now kind of focusing on stretching the top of the feet and taking another deep breath. <sighs> Come into the body, bring in this new energy. Greet your body as it is, trying to just explore and feel. I want you to move organically through the class. So if you need to back off, modify or amplify, push yourself, you can always pick your pacing and your poses Again, if something's in a plank, maybe you come down to the knees. If your wrists are bothering you in down dog, maybe you come down to the forearms. This is all about what feels good in your body. We always wanna push ourselves, kind of find those limits, but then back off when we're feeling maybe something isn't quite right. Quickly drop your head over to one side and give me a few nice juicy circles in the neck lingering in any sticky spots. Take your gaze over each shoulder and as you do that, we can start to add a little spinal twist. One set of fingers behind your back, one hand on your outer thigh, rotate each way. Make sure to breathe before you switch. One more time, into some lateral stretches, one arm over up by the ear, your bottom hand or elbow might start to bend if you have that space, and you can start to push your hips in opposition and just go back and forth, you could drop the head there if that feels good. Beautiful. All right, little focus in the shoulders and in the wrists. Go ahead and give me some shoulder shrugs. Maybe one at a time, a little circle back. A little bigger, some elbow circles. Try to pull the belly in. And then big, full swimming back strokes. Four, three, two, one. Let's give ourselves a pat on the back. Crisscross one arm over the other. Connecting to the breath and let's go into our wrists. Fingers flexing up, down, up, down, up, down, up and down. Now separate and narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. When we have our hands in the mat, I want you in this wide position and gripping your fingertips into the mat. That will draw the pressure up the forearm, fire in the forearms and put less strain on the wrist. Fist circles one way and the other way. And finally, some blinks. Blinking out like you're flicking water off of your fingers. Try to move faster. Try to pull the arms over the head. Maybe biceps by ears. Can you elevate the shoulders? Lengthening out the sides of the body for three, two. It should be hard now. One. Oh, shake that down. All right. We are starting our first sequence with a spinal wave in downward facing dog. So let's go ahead and come into downward facing dog. Remember spreading fingers, lifting hips. And if your hamstrings are feeling tight here, we're going to 
just go ahead and pedal out. High heels, low heels. Remember, spreading, gripping fingers. Imagining you're pushing your mat forward and trying to draw your chest towards your toes. Let's do double high heels and then try to lower and then bend the knees and try to work them straight. They don't have to straighten all the way. Your heels don't have to land. High heels, Barbie toes. Heels down, bend, straighten, high, low, dip, and lift. One more, high, low, knees, low, and high. All right, spin your hips from side to side. You can drag your heels with you. I have my nice large GXM mat today, but whatever you're working with, hopefully it is not slippery so you can press those fingers down and really grip into the earth. You want to be barefoot today. <sighs> All right, starting with a wider foot position, especially since we haven't done any back bending yet. We're going to take some spinal waves. Starting easy, round, engaging the core, round and hit a tall, lifted plank. Then drop your hips through, up dog on toes. See how that feels? Opening up the chest, the quads, the hip flexors, that belly pushing through, chest pushing through the shoulders. Make sure your shoulders are pushing down with effort, not sinking up. Now tuck the chin, Push the shoulders around the spine and pull back. Two more like that. Inhale. Hit your high plank, toning on the belly and quads. Then swoosh those hips through. Up dog on toes. Squeeze the back body. Open the front body. Tuck the chin and round it back. One more. A little quicker. Round through plank. Drop through up dog. Now lower your knees. Release the top of the feet. Now swing your toes together and take a little child's pose. Again, if your wrists are already feeling it, give me some wrist circles. And we're gonna take a little counter stretch. Take the back of the hand down and blink those fingers out. You're flapping them and then take the fingers backwards. Feel that inner forearm and you can lift and lower the hips. All right, so first sequence, we start with a spinal wave. We go all the way down to the mat. We cobra roll and lift back up. Then we're trying a dive bomber. We're going to lower into a dolphin, so shoulder strength, spinal mobility. I'm going to find a hair tie, and we're going to start our flow. Okay, much better. Let's go ahead and come into downward facing dog. Spread those fingers, index finger forward, wrap the crease of the elbow forward, push the shoulders down and lift the hips. If you have a stiffer back, you're gonna take your legs a little wider. If you have a nice bendy spine, you could take your feet hip width apart like a traditional downward facing dog. Here we go. Spinal wave, round it forward, find your high tall plank. Lower those hips, up dog on toes, shoulders down, heart puffing forward. Now bend the elbows and land down. We're going to take a cobra roll, so rounding up into a low cobra, squeezing your back body. Now elevate your hips back to that up dog on toes and tuck your chin and roll back. Do it again, round forward, high plank. Swoosh through, up dog on toes. Soften the elbows, melt pubic bone, belly and chest, and then roll up, pressing up. Head is gonna come up last to your cobra, wherever it feels good in the back. Elbows are gonna stay bent until you lift off of the floor. Now exhale, tuck the chin and round the spine back. Last time and we'll add on. Round forward, tall plank, high above the ground. Swoosh through, up dog on toes. Bend the elbows and bring your body to the mat. Then roll up, head up last. Cobra, press the floor away as you lift the body. Upward dog on toes, tuck the chin and round down dog. Okay, here is your dive bomber also known as a snake. You're going to hover your elbows above the mat and then pull each part of the body down 
face, neck, chest, and belly. Take a locust flight. Good, bring your hands down. On the way back, you can come through your knees and then your elbows and live to dolphin. All right, does that make sense? That's little, still first part of the sequence, but kind of goes in two parts. All right, so from dolphin, if you're strong enough, we're gonna look forward and just lift off the elbows. If your shoulders aren't quite as strong, you might look like this, where you're gonna kind of walk up one hand at a time. All right, let's try just the dive bomber part. Look forward, bend your elbows. You could also do this with the knees down. If you're already struggling, do the, put the knees down first. Elbows hover, face, neck, chest. Try to swoosh your way forward. Then take a little flight, locust, squeeze your back. Bring your hands back by your chest. Go ahead and press up through the knees to the elbows. Lift the knees, dolphin. Okay, then go ahead and press onto the hands. All right, let's put those two together. Spinal wave, round forward, up dog on toes. Lower thighs, pubic bone, belly, chest. Cobra roll, squeeze the back, then press up, up dog on toes, and downward facing dog to your dive bomber snake. Look forward, slither through, put the belly down, take your flight and then press onto the knees, to the elbows, and you're in dolphin. Beautiful job. Go ahead and lower the knees and take a little moment. If you need to shake out those wrists and swirl around those shoulders, heavy on the shoulders, we're gonna move on to our little section two. So section two starts on the forearms, so we'll lower the knees down and we get a nice stretch here. Some cat cow, on the forearms. Then we'll take a loaded beast to some plank tucks. All right, so part two is a little shorter. You came from dolphin, you draw back to the knees with care. Take cat cow round the spine and arch in a forearm table round. But I want you to really think about engaging the core with the breath. So we're gonna exhale and we're gonna make that belly tight and small. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna stretch it out, lift the tailbone and chest. Exhale, really active, making your belly as tensed up as possible, and then stretching it out. One more time, exhale, pull, push all the air out, firm tone the belly. All effort, and soften, all right. Now tuck your knees under. We're gonna slide our knees off the mat called Loaded Beast. So pulling your weight back. Good, and you could do this from the hands or the forearms to the hands. So we're gonna just start to tuck knee to nose. Good, so you could drop to the forearms, little Loaded Beast on forearms, and then plank tuck. Forearm hips back, plank tuck with effort. A lot of sneaky core. Knee crunches into the nose, thigh touches belly, heel towards butt with the hamstring. Curl two more, knee to nose. Loaded beast on forearms, knee to nose, and lower back down. All right, take a child's pose, shimmy your hips side to side, and we'll just put that together. So it's cat-cow, but it's really, a big crunch in the into the abdominals. So everything is really active. You can put as much or obviously as little into the work as you'd like. Okay, come into that tabletop on forearms. Exhale, suction, belly to spine, release. Suction, and release. Tuck your toes, pull your knees off the mat, rock back. Then pop up to hands, plank top for four. Forearms to hands, three. Knee to nose, push forward into the fingertips. And one, you got it. Go ahead and let that go and come on to the knees. Cross across the arms. We have two pieces of the flow. One is a little longer than part two. Let's put them together and then add part three. From down dog, we'll just do it once. 
spinal wave, dive bomber, forearm plank, forearm to plank tucks. Let's do it. Hands down, hips up, down dog. Spinal wave forward, round, unfurl, up dog. Go ahead and soften the elbows and put the belly down. Then roll it up to cobra. Push it up to up dog. Roll back, round, puff up through the back of the heart, down dogs. Dive bomber, bend, snake it through, and fly. Bring your hands down. Maybe you push up to your forearms without coming onto the knees first, or it's knees, then elbows, hips up. All right, go ahead and lower the knees down. Exhale, crunch the belly. Inhale, open up. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Rock back. Knees come off the floor and then charge forward, plank tuck four. Elbows, three. Knees are hovering or they're landing if you need it, two. And one, now down dog. Whew, okay. Some down dog, little lizard lunges. So let's go ahead and sweep right leg down dog split. Use this to stretch to start. Squeeze the butt, pull the legs apart, feel that left hamstring. You could be high on the toes or trying to drop heel down. Here we go. Stepping outside your right pinky for a lizard lunge. Bend the knee, step wide. Go ahead and pull the heart forward and take a twisting lunge. You can circle out that wrist while you're here. We're gonna land the back knee, hamstring curl, and try to just give your toes and fingers a little meet up or a high five. And it's okay if you're not there, obviously that's okay. Try to sink the hip, feel the hip flexor and quad, and we'll just do that on the other side. Bring your right hand and left toes down, step back, down dog, split left leg up. Meet me here, down dog, left toes to sky split. Work your breath, work your flexibility. Try to maybe try a high right heel, a low right heel, and then lifting those toes higher, pressing into those fingers, stretching chest to toes, inhale. Bend the knee and step outside the left pinky. Open up the left hand, twisted lunge, circle the wrist, smile. All right, drop the back knee and then reach back as you hamstring curl the right heel towards butt. High five, fingers meet toes, whatever it is. Make sure it's active, passive as if you were to grab, so just keep it active there. Perfect, all right. We're gonna take it back and add on a little kick through, still same sequence. Down dog, right leg up, split. A little faster, step outside. Lizard lunge, look forward. Twisting lunge, look up, you can circle the wrist. Reaching back and toe tap. Now, kick through. The left foot is going to kick through this open space in front of you. Lift off the back knee, kick the foot forward, Pull it back to your down dog and lift the left leg. Walk, walk, lift. There it is. Left foot outside, left pinky. Find your lizard lunge, twist, maybe a wrist circle, and then reach back, fingers to toes. Now look forward, tuck your back toes under and give me that kick through. If you need more space, you can step your hand a little wider, maybe even turn the fingers sideways to make it easier on the wrist. Up to you, walk back, step back. Right leg up, a little quicker, one more time. Lizard lunge. Straighten out and then twist. Wrist circle, knee down, reach back, hamstring curl. Lift off the back knee, kick through. Step back or jump back and then left foot lifts. Step outside, lizard lunge. Lengthen, lift to twist, circle wrist. Drop knee, reach back, hamstring curl. Step on the toe, lift off your knee, kick through. Step or jump back, down dog. All right, recovery, knees down. It could be a child's pose, it could be just kneeling, flipping your palms over and circling them out. Good place for a sip of water or some cleaning of your mat. I always see pet hairs, my hair, all that stuff. All right, little moment for water. We're gonna take it 
through the top, put those three sequins together, add on two more times, put them together again, and we are there. Okay. Quick wrist stretch, link those fingers, pressure on the back side of the hand, and meet me in downward facing dog or the spinal wave, maybe a quick shake. Whenever we do animal flow, it is a lot on the hands. Be mindful, take time to massage out your forearms, stretch your wrists. Make sure you're activating your shoulders and your core and not dumping heavy into the hands. Take breaks when you need it. And if you're new, it just takes time to build that forearm and strengthen the other parts of your body as well as strengthening the wrist. All right, down dog. Set yourself up, maybe feet a little wider. Spinal wave, rounding forward, high, tall plank. Hips through up dog. Bend your elbows, plant your belly and chest down, then spinal wave up. Lift off, straighten the elbows, and down dog, roll, rounding back. Now, dive bomber, elbows hover. Snake through, take flight, hands down, pressing back to dolphin any way you would like. You can come from the hands to the forearms and lift or down through the knees. All right, dolphin, lower the knees with care, slow. Cat, rounded crunch, inhale, pull backwards. Exhale, push round curl and arch, nice work. Taking your knees off the floor, push your hips back, charging knee tucks, right. <sighs> Elbows down, knees hover, or they can land, left knee to nose. Hover, loaded beast on forearms, tuck, load, and tuck. Now down dog split, left down, right up tall. <sighs> Step outside the right pinky, lizard lunge. Look forward, then turn up. Optional wrist circle, drop the knee, hamstring curl, high five. Kick through, maybe you open your fingers and hand, kick through, jump or step back then, the left foot swings up. Down dog split, left leg wide, lizard lunge. Twist, optional wrist circle, land the knee, hamstring curl, high five. Kick through, look forward, kick through the space. Jump or step back, down dog. Beautiful job, moving on to our next sequence. Okay, from your down dog, we're going to try to float. If you're nowhere near floating, it's gonna look just like a jump forward and that's fine too. We're gonna jump the right foot forward, go into a standing split, stand up and tuck, and then lower into a lunge to pistol squat. Here we go, downward facing dog. Take a big jump towards your thumbs and the right foot is what is going to land. So maybe you get a moment of floating, maybe it's just a jump right foot forward. Lift your hips, press the earth down, <sighs> right foot lands. If you get a handstand, awesome too. If you get too much momentum, open up your hips and cartwheel out. So from this right foot down, Standing split, kick those left leg, left toes to the sky as your head falls heavy, lower. Now all the way to a standing balance, pulling that left knee up through space and like a one-legged mountain or tadasana. We're gonna step back into a little lunge. Take the toes and the knee down. Sit back on your left heel. You can balance in this toe stand or land on your heel into a pistol squat. And we'll rock forward back through that left knee, right foot. Hands are gonna come down and you'll jump back to down dog. So lift off your heel, put the hands down, jump the feet back. We got it, let's practice again. Left foot is gonna jump forward, bend the knees, look forward. Try to get your hips up and then your left foot pulls forward. Standing split, right toes to sky, head heavy. 
If your hamstrings are tight, you can bend the left knee or bend both knees, squeeze your butt, lift, toes high, doesn't matter what it looks like, just feel, then pull that right knee through, try to balance on your foot, and lift the knee as high as you can. Step back behind you, bring your toes and your knee down, sit back, rock off the knee as you move your shoulders over your hips, toe stand balance, maybe pistol balance. Rock forward, foot, knee, hands, jump back. Bend the knees as you land to catch that momentum or all that weight, so bounce, land, and then straighten the knees. All right, let's do that again. Jump off both feet, but just your right foot lands. Try to catch a moment, if you can, by squeezing your shoulders, pushing down, and slowing the legs down with your core. Bend and look forward. Just grip the mat with your fingertips. Pull the right foot towards the thumbs. <sighs> Standing split, kick up. One-legged Tadasana or mountain, pull your knee through, lift your body tall. Then step your foot back, doesn't have to be too wide. Little kneeling lunge, heel, butt by heel, lift your knee, try to balance in a toe stand, try to lower onto your heel. Some people's ankle mobility doesn't like to lower your heel, so just stay in the toe stand, that's okay too. Then rock heel, knee, hands, jump back. Absorb that landing, that jump with soft knees. Let's do that two more times. Bend the knees, look forward. Jump the right foot forward. <sighs> Standing split. Left knee pulls up. Good, standing mountain. Step back, kneel. Balancing toe stand. Heel drop. Rock forward, jump back. Now the left foot jumps forward. Gather up your momentum. Bounce, left foot pulls. <sighs> Standing split, reach high, squeeze. One-legged Tadasana, balance through space. Oh, if you lose your balance, that's okay too. Step back, toes, knee, rock back, toe stand, pistol squat. Bring your heel, then your knee, then your hands forward and jump the hips up, soft landing. All right, take a rest. We have four parts now. We're gonna put all those four parts together. Maybe you're a little bit winded, drink some water, stretch anything you need to. And then we will add the last part of the flow. All right. Be sure to give your wrists some love. Upside down, shaking, figure eights, roller coasters, massaging, you can even massage with your knee into the forearm. Feel free to hit pause if you just need more time to relax your hands, wrists. All right, parts one through four in a flow and then we will add on the final piece. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, find your downward facing dog placement and spinal wave. Let's go, inhale, roll. And exhale, swish. <sighs> Lower thighs, pubic bone, belly, chest. Then roll up. Push off the legs into the hands and toes. Tuck the chin, spinal wave. Back, dive bomber. Look forward, hover the elbows. Pull each part through. Belly button lands. Take flight, locust. Hands down, rock to your forearms hips up to dolphin. Slowly lower the knees with care, strong shoulders, strong core, then cat, tuck, round, inhale, lift. Big tight tuck, belly as tight as you can. Inhale, all right, rock off your knees, look forward, charging, knee to nose, tuck, four, three, Forearms to hands, two, grip into those fingers or modify if you need to, one. Bring it back to down dog, right leg split. Step outside the pinky, lizard. Twist, circle the wrist, drop the knee. High five, 
kick through, back foot kicks through, jump or step, walk back, then lift the left leg up, down dog split, lizard lunge, step wide, lengthen the spine and then twist, circle wrist, drop knee, hamstring curl and high five, kick through, pick up the back foot, push through, jump or walk it back, down dog. All right, bend the knees, look forward, hips high, right foot lands forward, float, standing split, kick up, pull forward, one-legged mountain, standing tall. Take that foot back, kneeling position, little duck lunge, rock onto the toes off that left knee, toe stand. Maybe trying to fall onto the heel for pistol. You might fall on your butt, that's okay too. Rock forward. Try to do this without hands, maybe you need your hands. Then plant your hands down and jump your feet back. Bend the knees, look forward, hips high, left foot pulls forward. <sighs> Standing split, kick up, squeeze butt. Pull forward, one-legged mountain. Who lift tall. Duck lunge, it's a small lunge. Toes, knee, rock. Toe stand balance. Pistol squat lower. Rock forward, hands down. Jump back, down dog. Okay, we're at sequence five, final sequence. We are going to push our weight back into our feet for a squat. So you're gonna need to rock into the fingers and try to push back into a squat. That might not work for you, so you could kind of crawl back and lift to a squat. Just play around with what works. Otherwise, it's a little push away squat. You could try to bend, push back into those heels. All right, from your squat, two shrimp squats. We're gonna lift and try to bring your knee to the ground. It's okay if Maybe you need a, a wall assistance or you don't put your knee all the way down. You can just go to a short range and then lift or you're gonna go for the knee tap and the high lift back up. All right, so two shrimp squats, back to your squat in your chair. Squat, if you are quite flexible and you wanna go all the way down to more of a yogi squat, malasana, then we're crawling forward for a push up. Crawl forward. One big push up. Right foot is going to thread across. You're going to dip your hips. You can land or just hover and lift up. Then bring your right foot together, hip width from your left, and take a crab reach. Pressing down into those right fingers, shoulder down, hips up as high as you can, left arm framing face. And we're gonna do that again. Swing back to plank, lift to down dog, maybe shorten your down dog for the push away squat. Rise for shrimp squats, this time left. Your knee goes back and your shoulders hinge forward to make it a little easier. So it's hinging, knee back, maybe behind your heel and lift. Got it, now squat, maybe all the way yogi squat. Crawl for a push up. Left foot threads across, hip drop and lift, and then swing your feet towards each other, hip width apart, and lift your hips for crab reach. Squeeze your butt, push the shoulder down, stretch your top arm, framing the face. Come on back, plank, down dog. Walk a little closer, down dog, push away. Rise, right knee, shrimp, oof, left knee, shrimp squat. Lower down to full squat or half, wherever you wanna take it to crawl forward. One big push up, right leg threads, dip, drag, and camel, uh, camel reach, no. <sighs> Crab reach. Oh, my brain froze for a second. All right, lift, crab, reach. Squeeze hips up. Now flip it back, left over, plank, down dog last time. 
rocking push away. You might shorten your down dog to make it easier. Bend, push into your heels, rise. Now left knee, shrimp. Hamstring curl, right knee, shrimp squat. Lower down to any squat style. Crawl forward, push up. Left foot drags, thread, hip dip. Pull, feet meet or hip width. Crowd reach, hips high. Unwind to plank and lift to down dog. Lower to the knees, stretch a back child's pose or just come to kneeling, whatever you need to do. I am getting quite sweaty here, getting warm today. All right, sip of water. We're gonna put that all together. I have one little addition you might choose to take. It might confuse some of you, so feel free to skip it. There is a little piece where we do the lizard to the kick through. Before you jump back, you can drag to a little hover table, back, then jump back. All right, I'm gonna cue it. You're just sliding the foot and bringing the hand down to a quick beast. It's just a hovering table position. So from the kick through, you can take beast, kick, jump back. If that is confusing or you don't even know what I was doing, just skip it, do the kick through and the jump back just like we practiced. Okay, let's take it from the top. Again, be sure to give your wrists a little bit of love. It is quite a lot on the hands today. Deep breath in, big sigh out. Whew, wipe your sweat and let's go. All right, downward facing dog. Spinal wave, round it forward, hip plank. Up dog on toes, swoosh. Lower bend elbows, belly down, cobra roll up, bend the elbows, then straighten and lift off your legs and round the spine back to down dog. Dive bonder, bend the elbows and hover, look through and pull to fly, locust, squeeze. Hands down, pressing to dolphin through the knees or off the knees, elbows, hips up. Slow lower onto the knees. Cat, cow, cat's like you mean it, cow. Load, lift your knees, keep your elbows down if you'd like, and then charge into four plank tucks. Load, charge three, load, charge two, load, and one down dog, right leg splits. Here's your option if you wanna take it. Lizard lunge, draw forward. Straighten out the spine, twist, wrist circle, lower knee, high five, hamstring curl. Kick through, you can turn your fingers sideways. Kick through, beast, knee and hand lower. Kick through, jump back. Straighten out your fingers and kick the left leg or swing it up. Down dog split. Step outside the pinky lizard, lengthen the spine and then twist. Circle the wrist. Knee drops, high five, hamstring curl. Again, if you want to turn your wrist sideways, it might be a little easier. Kick through, rotate, hand over, knee hover, table, and kick, jump back, downward facing dog. All right, bend the knees, look forward. Jump the right foot to the thumbs, maybe try to get a float. Standing split, kick left toes up, head heavy. Standing mountain on one leg, left knee comes up. Whew. Little duck lunge, toes and then knee, crouch. Rock back, toe stand. Drop heel, pistol. Rock forward, duck lunge, hands down, jump back. Soft landing. Now bend the knees, look forward. Left foot floats forward. Whew. Right leg kicks up, down dog split. One-legged Tadasana or mountain. Right knee high, shake out those wrists if you need to. Take your toe and knee down, little duck lunge. Toe stand, left foot kicks out balance. Pistol option, take it forward onto the knee. 
then the hands jump the hips back. All right, now jump into your, or rock into your squat. So bend the elbows, push away, squat, rise. Right knee, hamstring curl, shrimp right, left knee, shrimp left. Yogi squat, give yourself room in front of you. Plank walk, crawl to push up. Right foot threads, hip lower, dip, drag, crab reach. We are there last time. Unwind to plank, down dog, maybe you crawl it in. Bend the elbows, push into squat, and rise. Hamstring curl, left knee, tap and rise. Hamstring curl, right knee, tap and lift. Yogi squat, plank crawl, push up. Left foot threads, little hip dip, and then pull your feet towards each other, and crab reach, squeeze the butt up. Ooh, unwind, plank, down dog last time. Bring the knees down and stretch it back. Take a couple rounds of deep breathing. Again, inhale, exhale. Ragdoll up to kneeling, neck circles. We completed all five exercises and we put them together. Maybe try to see if you can do it without me. See if you can remember it or rewind and do it a second time if you'd like to, all five of those parts. You could always come back another day if you just wanna practice the full flow or all the way through all five sequences and put together. I'm sweaty. I hope you got a great workout and you feel really amazing in your body. I'm proud of you for making it with me to the end. Leave me a comment. Let me know you were here. Share it with a friend. Save it for later. Like it. All the things. I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.